The other repairman tried to fix this mini split air conditioner motherboard but could not fix it. Let me show you what went wrong with the circuit board. I studied this circuit board, and I found that its IGBT has been changed. I think the surge voltages could have passed through it, due to which this current measuring resistor went bad. This resistor has been soldered. I will replace it with a new one. In the circuit one reactor is over here, and the second is this one. When did this reactor charged and discharge, to measure it two extra coils are installed with it. Positive is taken from this side and negative from this side of the capacitor trace, which flows towards the microcontroller in the form of signals. To know at what time the reactor charged and at what time it discharged. To make the zero current detection possible, to know at what time which reactor is at zero and which one is charged the maximum. This is the purpose of this circuit. I think these resistors were blown up. They have also been soldered. A resistor is missing from here. I checked the diagram of this circuit and found that a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor is installed over here. This is the 2.2 kilo ohms resistor. I will cut one for installation in the circuit. Soldering of the resistor has been completed. I have powered on the motherboard. Its power LED is glowing. This IGBT was problematic, as this is the master IGBT and the second with it is the slave IGBT. I will test the voltages on this IC. I will put the red probe on pin number 20, which is the positive pin, and the black probe on the 18 number pin, which is the negative pin of the IC. 15 volts are passing through these pins. The voltages to drive this IC are fine. The 19 number pin of this IC is for the master IGBT. And I have placed the black probe over here to check the voltages. Positive 15 volts are present here, meaning that this IC drives this master IGBT. But the IGBT is not able to turn on. Two transistors are installed here. The transistor on the upper side is PNP, and the lower is NPN. So 15 volts are flowing on the lower transistor, which means this is the drive transistor, and the upper transistor is used to discharge the IGBT. The traces from the IGBT are moving towards the NPN transistor base. I have put the black probe on the NPN base and the red probe on the collector pin. 15 volts are flowing through it. When I carefully saw this, I noticed something. Let me show you by zooming the camera. You can see this print over here with the IGBT is disconnected. Other than this the print between the transistor and the resistor is also disconnected. The voltages are flowing fine. I have checked both these transistors with master and slave IGBTs. They are also good. Now I will prepare the broken traces to fix them. It seems something like this in the microscopic camera. I have removed some solder mask. I can solder it over here because it is directly moving through this trace. The discharging diode is installed here. The second point can be soldered over here. I am first adding flux for soldering, and now I will put some solder on it. I have made a wire for it, which I will solder on these points I prepared.
I will cut the extra wire. Now I will check whether the wire I soldered is solid or not. I will try to push it. And it is quite solid. From the other side as well. I will now prepare this other trace that is to be fixed. I will clean the solder mask from this side. I think if I directly solder the wire here, it will be easier. If you see the wire I am using to fix the traces, it is not easily visible. These are too thin. These are visible in the microscopic camera. Now I will solder these wires. I will put some flux before soldering it. I will solder the wire with the resistor. The wire has been soldered with the resistor. Now I am bending the wire. And now the wire has got in a position. I will solder the wire with this component, which is easy. The wire has been soldered with both connections. I will cut the extra wire. I will check whether the soldering is solid or not. I am pushing it. And it seems to be solid. Solid from the other side as well. I will clean it. After fixing the broken prints. The IGBT is showing zero value on the multimeter. The diode is also showing zero value. I will change the polarity of the probes. It is still showing zero value, which means that this diode is short circuited. This PNP transistor also shows a short circuit on the emitter and collector pins. The value is zero. After changing the polarity still shows zero on the multimeter. I will replace this transistor and diode with a new one. I will check both these components after removing them from the board. I am checking the transistor first. I am checking first with the base and the collector pins. It shows 0.688 voltage drop. It should not show any value on the collector and emitter pins. It shows no value on the multimeter. After changing the polarity of the probes, it still should not show any reading. It shows no reading. I will now check the base and emitter pins. Does it show reading? I will change the polarity of the probes. Now it shows an increased reading. So this pin is the base of the transistor, this is emitter and the pin on the top is collector. I will now check the diode I had removed. It is showing zero voltage drop. It shows zero voltage drop on both polarities. This means that this transistor is fine, but this diode is problematic. I am going to change the diode, but this transistor inside the circuit board was showing zero voltage drop. But after removing it from the circuit board it shows it's reading OK. But I will change both the transistor and the diode for guaranteed work. Let's test this new diode. The diode is now showing a voltage drop. I will check on the other polarity. It is fine. Also let's test this transistor. I have placed the probes on its emitter and collector pins. It is showing a voltage drop, as it does shows when installed inside the circuit. It shows a voltage drop on the base and the collector pins. Now this motherboard had been fixed. Let's check this motherboard by passing electricity through it to make the final decision. I have powered on this motherboard again and checked voltages across all the points. The voltages are not passing through the transistors because the indoor circuit board is not attached with this outdoor motherboard. When the indoor circuit will communicate with it. Then the microcontroller and this PFC control IC after communicating, these IGBTs turn on and off. 
I will give this motherboard back to the customer because the indoor circuit board is not available to us. He will test this motherboard as it has been fixed properly. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next video. And subscribe. Thank you.